Hello world, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I make videos twice a week. So today's video is an exciting one because it is my Play by Sephora unboxing and first impressions video. And this is for the month of November. I usually open the box before the video so I can use the products, get ready with it, and let you know my first impressions about them too because I think that's just more useful. So this is the box this month. The theme is oops Best in glow and so the first thing you think about is highlighters and glowy things and whatnot um i really like the artwork on the bag this time it's so pretty i really wish that sephora would give um people a chance to submit artwork like ipsy does because i would love to do some artwork for their bags uh, i have some ideas so anyway i'm gonna start and the first thing that i'm gonna pull out is dali i don't know i don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't know about all the brands. I'm not the biggest makeup expert. But um, this is a moisturizer sorbet. I love moisturizers that are sorbet. I discovered this concept because of Body Shop and I love it. Uh, anyway, this one is uh, for sensitive skin and it smells like roses, honestly. It is so light and it is so nice, um, but it is just a normal gel moisturizer. I don't think that it is anything really special, but I really like the little pink bottle. I mean, it's really nice and it smells good, so. The way the, the moisturizer does claim to hydrate and soften skin while visibly calming redness. So if anyone has redness, check this out. The next thing I'm pulling out is Cover FX Illuminating Primer. We have received an illuminating primer in previous Sephora boxes. I think it was a Becca one. So the thing with me is I have oily skin, so I need a primer that is silicone-y, like Smashbox and Benefit Professional. But this has a nice sheen to it. I used it today. I don't know if it gives me a sheen as much as the Becca one, but I'm thinking I'll start using this on my cheeks and around the T-zone area and maybe just use Smashbox and everything else in the t-zone areas and see how the result is so I'll let you know how that turns out thing in here I was so excited about is the Laura Mercier caviar stick eye color in rose gold okay so I really wanted to try this plus this is rose gold which is one of my favorite colors so this stick is really awesome. What I did was apply this in the center of my lid with a very mauve base because I think pink and rose gold go really good together. So I wanted to try that look out and this is what it looks like. I think it looks really nice. And I was surprised that there are no highlighters in this box because that's what I thought there's gonna be. So I just used this as a highlighter and it, it's a really nice little sheen it's like champagne pop a little bit i guess and i think this is gonna be a staple for me in my purse thing in here is a sephora brand lip gloss so when i saw this color i was like mm, no this is not gonna look good on me this is too light this is too pink what were they thinking it's fall blah 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 but the thing is that this looks like a really nice wash off pink it's very sheer it's not very sticky, it's very light and it seems like one of those glosses that is going to stay on even if you eat or drink, you know, it's just going to get lighter and I really like that. So I don't know why this box is called Glow Getters because I think this box is perfect for a no makeup makeup look because it has very light sheer products that looks great and just is dewy and glowy. So anyway, I don't really mind, I still love the products. Next product in here I was very excited about and it's by Glam Glow. Uh, it's a hydrating mask. Now the thing is that I saw a few other unboxings and they got the Glam Glow uh, Youth Mud and Gravit Hitting Mud and those were the ones that I was really excited about and I was thinking oh my god I've been wanting to try the purple one you know the silver mask that everyone's been putting on and I was a little sad to see that I got the hydrating one because I don't have really dry skin. But I did try this last night and I would say it did leave my skin really soft. I think I need more hydration than I think I do. Um, so I think this is a good addition to try. If it wasn't for the Play by Sephora box, I don't think I would have tried this out. So I don't mind this so much anymore. But not least is a fragrance. It's a bonus fragrance. So <laughs> this fragrance is just like, it's hilarious how it smells because 
This is called Lipstick On by Replica and it smells exactly like my mom's old lipsticks. It smells like lipstick factory. It takes me back to the day when my mom used to, um, you know, put on YSL lipsticks or, you know, really old Elizabeth Arden lipsticks. And this is exactly how this smells. I don't know why anyone would want to use this on themselves. I'm not the biggest fan of this. All this does is just remind me of old times, which is not a bad thing but I don't know if this is gonna be a perfume of my choice. So it's funny that this was in there. That's all I got in my box this month. If you received your Play by Sephora box, let me know what was your favorite product. My favorite product was the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. I've been really wanting to try that, so I'm really happy that I got that. And I'm a little bummed out about that there are no highlighters in here, but it's okay. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.